In this video, I will explain how to do the face portrait of an improper note. Let me write that. Face portrait of an improper note. Let me see, we have a linear system. We're considering a linear system like dx dt equal ax plus by and dy dt equal cx plus dy and the matrix of the system is the matrix a b c d and one observation is that to have an improper note we are assuming that this matrix is not diagonal that means that either b is different from zero or c is different from zero also, to have an improper note, the characteristic polynomial, which is lambda squared minus the trace of a times lambda plus the determinant of a, this characteristic polynomial must be a perfect square. That means that it must look like lambda minus lambda 1 square. And with this observation, we have that in an improper note, the two eigenvalues of the matrix, lambda 1, equal to lambda 2. We have only two, only one eigenvalue. Uh, we're going to assume that this is different from zero. Then uh, we have two cases. Uh, let me see. Um, let's do the first case. I suppose that lambda 1 equal lambda 2 is bigger than zero. In this case, we call that case, we call it an and a stable and a stable improper note. And in order to do the face portrait, um, we find the eigenvector. To find the eigenvector, we solve this system. A minus lambda one times x plus b y equals zero and cx plus d minus lambda 1y equals 0. We can find a non-zero solution of this, and let's suppose that that non-zero solution is the vector v1, v2. Then with that again vector, we can, as in the other cases, we can start doing the, the face portrait. We draw 0, 0, and then we draw this, uh, this line using the vector v1, v2. Let's say this, this is the point v1, v2. We connect the point v1, v2 with 0, 0, and we get these two semi lines. Each semi line is an orbit, and since we are assuming that lambda 1 is bigger than 0, then we do, we do the arrows going out. The other thing that we need to do is we need to consider the matrix A minus lambda times the identity. Notice that this is the matrix A, B, C, D, sorry, minus lambda 1, minus lambda 1 times 1, 0, 0, 1. Uh, this is the matrix uh, A minus lambda 1, B, C, D minus lambda 1. With this matrix, what we do is we pick a point that is not in this semi-line. Let's take this point, P. And then this point P, let's say, is something like P1, P2. Using that point, we multiply the matrix A minus lambda 1, the identity, which is the matrix. We multiply it by P1, P2. And then we get a vector that we are going to call B1. Then we draw the vector V1. Let's suppose that the vector is something like this. Then if this is the situation, if lambda 1 is bigger than 0, oh, I forgot, no, th th this is wrong. Because our vector V1, you can prove mathematically that that vector V1 is parallel to this vector, to this eigenvector. Then this vector is going to be either like this, or it's going to be like that. It's going to be parallel. You can prove that mathematically. 
And then let's assume that the first case, let's assume that that vector is parallel and is parallel to this, it has this direction. Then um, since lambda one is bigger than zero, uh, the, the other orbits are like this. They look like a, they have the form of a J, of a letter J, but not a capital J actually, like a, like a J like this. Let me draw the J better. It looks like this. It's something like, it's something like that. And in this case, um, since lambda one is bigger than zero, then the orbit is going to be almost tangent to this line here. This is like this part of the J. And it goes through this point. And this is probably here. It will go like this. And it will go through that point and eventually it will become almost parallel to this. Notice that this vector is not the vector field associated with the differential equation. The orbit doesn't have to be tangent to that vector. But, but this vector is telling us that eventually this letter J is going, to, is going to go forever, but it's going to become almost parallel to this, to this vector. Then. Yes. If you want to do another orbit, it will look like this. And in this half plane, the orbits, they will go like Then this is the improper note when when lambda one is bigger than zero. That means that when the this equilibrium point is unstable. Let, let's do the other case. The other case is, is very similar, but let's assume now that lambda one is smaller than zero. Then we call that a stable improper note. We find the eigenvector, we draw the lines, but since lambda one is bigger than zero, then those arrows, they go toward the origin. So here, these arrows, they go toward, toward the origin. And then we pick a point, we pick a point and we compute in the same way we do a minus lambda one times the identity, we have this matrix, we multiply by, by this point, and we get a vector. Let's suppose that I have this vector is parallel to this line. Then let's suppose that the vector goes like this. If the vector goes like that, uh, that means that near the origin, we have an orbit that looks like a, a J, but in this, ta in this time, since lambda one, is smaller than zero, then the orbit is going to look like this. It's going to go like this. Then, uh, and the arrows, they point toward the origin. Then the other orbit will go like this. And the arrows point toward the origin. Notice that uh, this vector is not tangent to the curve because it's not the vector field associated with the system, but it, it somehow tells us uh, the direction of the orbit. Uh, in this case, since lambda one is smaller than zero, then the orbits, they go toward the origin, and then at this point, they are going toward, toward the origin. And we have this, and this is the example of a stable, stable improper node. And these are the two cases, okay, this is it.